Everyone, welcome to the show. So Georgia Judge Robert McBurney just gave us more reasons to love him. You guys might remember McBurney was the judge who just recently overturned Georgia's six-week abortion ban. He likened it to the government forcing men to give up one of their kidneys to save someone's life. So he has now stopped the Georgia MAGA lunatics from stealing the election for Trump. So first, he slapped down a Fulton County election board member. She refused to certify the presidential primary results this past spring. And she filed the lawsuit saying that she shouldn't have to do this. They didn't give her paperwork and blah, 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 blah. So in his ruling, he said, okay, you know, yeah, you're entitled to whatever documentation, but you're not allowed to hold up this certification. And McBurney said in his ruling, quote, if election superintendents were, as plaintiff urges, free to play investigator, prosecutor, jury, and judge, and so because of a unilateral determination of error or fraud, refuse to certify election results, Georgia voters would be silenced. Our Constitution and our election code do not allow for that to happen. Uh, McBurney also basically said, we all need a refresher course on what the word shall means. <laughs> so he wrote, quote, as only lawyers and judges can, we have muddied and mangled the meaning of the word shall in our business. To users of common parlance, shall connotes instruction or command. You shall not pass. So, <laughs> he's quoting some movies there. Um, so Judge McBurney mentioned that, you know, th this whole issue is a problem, this shall, you know, issue and, and people batting this word around, trying to figure out what exactly it means. This is a problem because the state's constitution says that the election board shall certify the results. It is not up to them to decide if they want to certify the election. Shall means it is a requirement. You shall do so. You know, you don't tell your children, you shall clean your room, and then they get to decide if they want to do it or not. <laughs> right. So this is a major win and a big deal because the majority of the state election board is now made up of, of MAGA cult members. And I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but they approved a bunch of new rules over the past couple months and all very obviously meant to help Trump overturn the election if he loses again this year. One of the rules that they adopted was that the election board they themselves, the members of the board, they do not have to certify the election results if they suspect that there was election fraud. Um, so the, the rule was completely vague the way they wrote it. You know, it left everything up to their discretion. Even other Republicans on the board are calling BS and saying this is not appropriate. And yet, because they're the majority, they just railroaded everybody. So this ruling by McBurney pretty much tells us how that bogus rule is going to go down and that it's going to be overturned on a statewide level. Um, and the MAGA loons also voted that all ballots had to be counted by hand in this year's election. Now, to be fair, when I first read it, I thought, oh, my God, they're going to count every ballot by hand. It's going to take forever. They weren't saying the votes needed to be hand counted. What they were saying is that just the number of ballots that are received need to be need to be counted by hand um, and then put into 50 or stacks of 50 to make sure that how many go through the machines is how many they received. Not as big of a deal, but, you know, do we really trust Trump cult members to hand count ballots when they refuse to even admit that their loser lost the last election? No. Um, and the board members, th this was such a, a blatant power grab that Trump called them out by name. He at one of his rallies, he thanked them. He called them his quote unquote pit bulls and said, oh, these people are doing a great job down in Georgia. And it seemed like they were gonna get away with this, you know, because it was so close to the election. 
Well, that kind of screwed them. This was probably, you know, this was probably the biggest issue and why they lost on this. So lawsuits were filed. Judge McBurney, again, was assigned to adjudicate these cases. So as of yesterday, he went over the whole matter of hand counting of the ballots and he reversed it. And McBurney didn't say that they can't hand count ballots in the future, but he pointed out, oh, it's too close to the election. You can't make this change. It's too close. It's going to cause chaos because the poll workers haven't been trained. So them waiting, you know, them thinking they're going to pull a fast one at the last minute, that's what did them in. And then he also cited January 6th in his ruling. He said, quote, this election season is fraught. Memories of Jan 6 have not faded away, regardless of one's view of that date's fame or infamy. Anything that adds uncertainty and disorder to the electoral process disserves the public. So good on McBurney. Let's hope he overturns the rest of their BS rules. I will definitely keep you posted on all of this. Um, thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share and subscribe. Please donate if you possibly can. Links are below in the description box on YouTube and the podcast. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.